Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory. And last week we made the charger. I think it's in here, yes. Applied Energistics to charger. But we couldn't get it to, um, well I couldn't get it, not you, because obviously you're not here. But couldn't get it to connect to the pipes for energy. So, um, so yeah, had a bit of a of a bit of a detective hunt to find out what's going on and um, Ender.io has a conductive iron it, it has conduits so you have different type of conduits let's see conduit so you have item conduits pressurized fluids conduits and the fluid conduit and then when it comes to outputting stuff you have uh, conductive iron energy conduit and that's what we would need in order to attach it to our system to get it charged I haven't tried it so let's see how that goes so um, yeah so once we've done that maybe we can get the fluids crystals done and we can get this bit finished so that's our task for today so we can do the energy acceptor and at least have a look at the crystal growth chamber and then once we've done that then oh item conduits come down here as well well okay once we've done that then we can have a look at this because this seems to be the end ender io bit but i just want to finish this because it was really bugging me so um for any kind of conduits as far as i know you need conduit binder conduit binder you get from binder composite and that you get from gravel clay and sand so it's like grout from tinkers but in a different configuration so we have 24 conduit binder composites i've moved um i moved the uh not moved i put out all the machines they're all now attached i moved my um furnace out here and I also automated it slightly so I have all the wood now that I need to power the furnace on the side here underneath we have a chest that has all our stuff and behind here is where I'm keeping all the wood and so on because obviously we've got our stuff growing outside so let us uh where's our binder conduit there it is let's do it that way all right so we don't need much um conductive iron so we need three conductive iron wires um Conductive iron is. How do you make conductive iron? Nope, nope, because we did it before. We did it before smelting. Conductive iron dust, it's iron and redstone, and it's one to one. I think we have some over here. Primitive circuit, red alloy dust. Well, we have redstone. We could take out a stack of that. And we need... Where's our iron? Is that it? Yes. I oh, know. If I take out a stack of iron, we have a stack, right? Yes. And put that to... Is that going to give us iron dust? Yes, it will. Excellent. So we get that going. Oh, I like that animation on top. It's pretty cool. If I go on, is it going to kill me? No. <laughs> Just wondered. <laughs> As you do. Um, right. So we need... How many... How much can... Oh, we need two wires. Okay. Um, can we put this in the alloy smelter? alloy smelter we have we need two so if we put two redstone 
and two iron dust. No, it's not alloy smeltable. All right, it was worth a tr worth a try. All right, conductive iron dust, and then we put this back in the furnace. Where are we? Pink. And melt those. Oh, I made a chest transporter. These are extremely easy to make. Um, and you use them to transport your chests, as it says. Chest trans helps if I could spell. So the easiest one to make is a wooden chest trans transporter which is literally what two four six sticks in that can in like a y-shape configuration and that will give you a wooden chest transporter that is single use only. Then you can make an iron, gold, diamond, copper, silver, tin or obsidian chest trans transporter. And all of those are made in the same way. You have five sticks in a U configuration and where the handle would be, you put whatever it is. So the diamond or gold or whatever. And those have more durability than others. So I made an obsidian one. And all you do really is you go up to your chest and it works on the storage crates and actually additions. I haven't tried it on the sky stone chest no nope, that's not working but if you you go up to a chest and it will take it up you'll see that there's particle effects around me you it gives you um different buffs although they're not really buffs um you get jump boost but you get mining fatigue you get hunger you get slowness and you get haste so you can put it down quickly and then once you're finished you put it back down one trick that i've learned if you have your chest, because obviously when you're moving around, you move quite slowly. Some mod packs will actually have it that you move extremely slowly and you don't have jump boost. What you can do if you have um, uh, a satchel or some kind of case on you, some kind of storage. Let's make some space. You can put the transporter in there with the chest in it and it will show you what's in it. And then once you've done that, all the all the buffs disappear. So if you look now, all we've got is haste because that was that had to run down. But everything else disappears. You can move around as normal, and then ready, when you're ready to take it back out, you open back up your chest, put it in your inventory. You get back the negative buffs, and then you point where you want your chest to go, and right click, and there you go. You're done. So yeah, the chest transporter is extremely useful. All right, let's tidy this up a little bit. It's just as I was moving things around in my inventory, I caught sight of it and thought I should let you guys know about it. So we have, we took, oh no, we took out our stuff. We need to make wires, a uh, compressor. So we want two wires. I oh know that's giving us plates. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. We needed. Oh God. I moved it round. That's why. Wire mill. And that's not going to work, is it? Okay. Let's do this again. We have iron dust. We have redstone. Well, at least we've made the mistake. We know we can't do it again. You know why? Because I think the wire mill was there before and I just automatically put it in. Oh, what did that give us? A small pile of iron dust. Okay. All right, let's put this in now. Can we smelt this again to get it back down into something? No. Okay, it was worth a try. Right, let's put those in. We got those out. Wire mill. Put those in. There you go. 
and then we have binder composite right yes where are we binder no not composite no nope, no nope, no nope. Shane what are you doing what are you doing conduit conduit that's what we want and oh we needed three anyway I was there thinking oh we only need two but we needed that okay right so does that go can that go on here nope I think that would go on the dynamo itself now we have a uh, ender io thing hammer ratchet crescent hammer uh yet a wrench sometimes it's best to take things off with the with the wrench that came with it all right can we put that on there yes we can so I right click it gives it that little connector and it goes up and down if you right click the connector you can see you could insert extract so you can use it to pipe things around as well they all have that um what's the word interface that's the word I was looking for all right so there's our charger put it on are you uh, working? Maybe? Redstone mode? No. Without signal. I think that's what we want. No, that's not. Okay. That had worked. They had used Ender IO. Oh man, that is a pain. Do we have any quartz as well? No, there's nothing coming in. Okay. Uh, okay, I am going to have to go back. Um, no, that's not it. I'm going to have to go back. And I'm going to have to see what I did wrong. Because, as far as I know, this is what they did, and it worked. It wasn't on the dynamo. Uh, augmentation, no. Okay, I'm going to have to go and see what they what I did wrong. I'm going to have to see what I did wrong. Because I don't know. Oh, this is annoying. Alright guys, I will be back in a bit when I've had a little bit of a look. So, I've had a look. And... Sorry, yeah. Had a look. And exactly what I did is what they did. They had the conduit. They put it up. They put the charger on top it works straight away for them it hasn't worked for me the only thing that I can see is that um, their video is from June this year and obviously this is October it could be that it was because it has been the, the pack has been updated a couple of times so it could be that that was a functionality that was in before and it's not in now so I will assume that is what the case is um, when I'm finished recording, I'm going to see if the pack needs updating. It might do. So yeah, so while I was waiting, I changed um, my power set layout so that it so that the CEF was not sitting right on top of the um, steam dynamo, and I moved everything down so that the water source is underneath the steam dynamo. Oh, down, yes. 
and that's hidden because we never need to get to that we never need to connect to it or anything I've put a trap door here so I can get to the steam dynamo um, steam dynamo is pointing up we have the conduit here and it's connected to the CEF so if we needed anything else that wasn't going to connect to the cables at least now we have an outlet so that they can connect to so yeah so yeah that's kind of rained on my parade for a little bit and also one thing i'd noticed um while i was explaining to you guys about the transporter one of the buffs that i had was speed and while i was saying it i was thinking that doesn't make not speed haste sorry um, and i was thinking it doesn't make sense if i've got slowness why does it have haste that's because it's not from um it wasn't from the transporter it's actually from my my armor and if I give you guys a look, I am in lapis plate armor. And what that is, you just take, um, I believe it's lapis, and you can turn it into plates, and you can make armor out of it. And when you have a full set, that gives you haste, which is awesome. But then when you're um, mining stuff in a straight line, you end up mining more than you wanted to. So there's that. So... In that case, we can't do that right now. I'm going to have to, like I said, when I'm finished, I'm going to check and see if there's an update. If there is, I'll update my game and um, try again. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to, obviously, there's a way to solve it, but I don't know what the way is yet. So in that case, we would we'll go into the end IO route so the pulsating iron we've got basic capacitors as well basic RF capacitor electrical steel how do you make electrical steel alloy smelter steel and silicon one other thing um, we were making conductive iron before and I was grinding things down into dust and then combining and so on and so on there's an easier way to do that I have, oh no, I put away everything that was in my inventory. If I get a piece of redstone, a piece of iron, go to the alloy smelter, redstone, iron ingot, and we get a conductive iron ingot. So I didn't have to grind it down into dust. That was the easier way to do it. So, yeah. Just thought I'd put that out there as well. Okay, basic RF, uh, electrical steel. All right, and what was the other thing? Pulsating, let's go down to the conduits because we've already started conduits. So pulsating iron ingot, which is alloy smelter, iron and pulsating dust. We have pulsating dust because I smelted up quite a lot because I figured we'd need it and we need a piece of iron. Um, there was something else I was going to tell you guys, and I, oh, um, I went exploring, and because we have AE2, uh, presses are found in meteors, and I came across a meteor while I was exploring, so I dug it out. You need a diamond level pick in order to, to, to explore, to um, excavate, and to mine it, sorry. And inside, in the middle of the meteor, you find a sky stone chest, sky stone, sky stone chest, and it has one or more presses inside. You need four presses. I found two in the chest that I had, and the sky stone that I excavated, I'm keeping that as well because you need that as part of AE2. Right. I think now I have everything out of the way. Let's get on with what we're doing. Um, they get our omnipennies and more materials. Oh, we have that. That's fine. Nickel, invar, and cupra nickel. Cupra nickel. Okay. Let's have a look. How do you make those? Because obviously I've made them. Invar, I think I made for um, I made it for something else, which is how we ended up with invar. Alloy smelter, nickel dust and iron gives you invar. And then cooper nickel 
cupra nickel i think i'm saying that correctly nickel and copper okay but whatever reason we have all of them so let's claim our omni pennies uh item conduit so they want item conduit so that's binder conduit and pulsating iron wire okay so we need another pus pulsating iron ingot So yeah, so the earlier footage where it's all gone a little bit wrong, I'm still going to leave that in because other people are going to be playing this pack and they might run into the same thing. Because if you're, because I mean, we're going to be all watching the same videos on YouTube, and um, yeah, just letting you know it's out of date. We want the wire mill. Don't make the same mistake, Shane. All right, we need two because we need three iron. Three iron, three wires. Bind the conduit. Conduit. We need six. Where did did I not? Did I put it in one of these chests? Not this one. Um, there's a conductive one. Oh, did I leave it by the door? I may have left it by the door. Let me take these out. And put these in to smelt up. Does that not? No, that doesn't smelt. Okay. Um, bauxite, you smelt, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, bit of a, bit of a thing. What was I looking for? Oh, composite binder. I left it by the chest by the door, I think, because I went out to mine. Um, to excavate my trees while I was waiting for the video to play well not waiting for it to play it was playing but I had to like watch the whole video I couldn't work out which which bit had the piece that I wanted so um, yeah so while I was watching that I was mining yeah that could work so we want three of that Three of that and we have item conduits well done that's good I wonder can we put hmm I'm pretty sure you can put them on the back of these but I'm trying to work out how can that make a central storage system but I don't know if we can yet I'll have to have a think about that one all right, we want Omni Pennies, and that finishes there. Okay, basic capacitors. Let's see if we can make a basic RF capacitor. Um, we need electrical steel, which is silicon, which is, do we have silicon? as barite, uh, copper, silicon, we have two. Okay. Am I looking at the right thing? What do I have in my hand then? Coal dust. Oh, what colour is silicon then? Uh, that's obsidian. That has to be silicon. Yeah, that's it, I think. Yes, yeah, silicon. Alright, um... How many... Electrical steel nuggets and tin wire. Okay, so we need to make one piece of electrical steel. And we need steel. Do I have, is that, no, maybe, yes. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. I think I've got fat fingers. Or uncontrollable fingers not sure which one silicon and steel so that should make electrical steel and then so we need to break it down to nuggets we need a vacuum tube and we need tin wire a vacuum tube that was here um, we need paper copper wire and a glass tube and a glass tube is four panes of glass. Um, do we have glass? Yes. 
All right, vacuum tube, put those there. So we need that. We have paper. In the vacuum tube, we need copper wire. Uh, one is copper, one is bronze, that's copper. We only need one, one piece of copper to make our wire. There you go. Uh, copper wire. Oh no, we need two. We needed three pieces of copper wire, not there. Uh, Right, at least that go that's a pretty fast process. Um, and to here, and that should make a vacuum tube. Right, electrical steel, alloy smelter. Break that down into nuggets. Um, what are we missing? Tin wires. Um, is no, that's n raw iron. Tin is this light colored one. Yep. How many tin wires do we need? Just two, right? Before I go and. Yeah, we just need two. That's fine. Right, so that's that. No basic mixer. We want the wire mill on top. I should move it, but if I move it, then I'm going to forget that I've moved it. So we won't do that. Basic RF capacitor. That is awesome. Uh, more materials. So we can make what? Being able to fly. Okay, conductive iron jetpack. Leather strap. Ooh. That's interesting. Because this, I think this is more obtainable than the other jetpack. Because um, you've got these jetpacks. Leadstone jetpack. Yeah, it's it's a bit more because yeah, it's a bit more. You have to make steam dynamos and stuff. Let's see if we can make the conductive iron jetpack. So we need two conductive iron plates. I don't know how you charge it though. But oh, conductive iron thruster. All right, I think we could do that. Do we have any resonating iron, a resonating crystal? Yes, we have four. We need two, I think. Let's have a look. All right, yeah, we need two. All right, let me get all the stuff together. Let me get all the stuff together because it will be. Let me see, how many plates do we need? Oh, I'm quite excited about this. All right, so for each thruster, you need four plates. And then you need another four on top of that. So that's eight. Do we need one for the strap? No, we just need steel. Okay, so. There's. Eight of those, we need eight redstone. We could put that into cook. I'm glad I discovered that I could do it this way rather than having to grind it down and stuff. All right, so that's going. Um, we need red alloy plates and red alloy is uh, blast furnace, alloy smelter, redstone, and copper. 
And how many of those do we need? Red eye, that's three. That is six. All right, yeah. I'm going to keep going at this. I'm going to get everything together. And then um, I... Oh, is that... Oh, we've got red eye light ingots. Well, there's me thinking that I need to put everything together and I might just actually have everything here. So I don't have to go away. We need the compressor. So I don't know if you can hear that. There's a helicopter that's flying very low over my head. No, not over my head. It's not like there's a helicopter in, the, in my room. <laughs> in the office. No, I mean over the house. It's flying really low. So yeah, don't know if you can hear that, but that's a bit it's a bit unusual. Helicopters don't really fly that low around here. And conductive iron. Uh we have two. Right. So Conductive iron jetpack. There's the thrusters. We're missing the conductive iron plates. All right, we want four. That plate compressor, yes. Okay, right. So we've got our iron plates. We want the thrusters. One, two. Then we want, no, not armour, just normal. Are we missing, did I? Oh. I totally, I knew this was going to happen. Right, we need four more. Um, Iron, one, two, three, four. And we need four of those. Four and four. Okay, so that's that. All right. Missing leather strap. So we need two bits of leather and a steel plate. Do we actually have leather? You know what? I don't know. If we have leather, it would probably... We have one. Can we turn saddles into leather? It would be awful if what we are... Atomic reconstruct... Oh, you know what? We can make this, I think. We can make this because... Um, let's see, what do we need for it? Because when I was out exploring, I found... Um, I found black quartz and I think that's what was holding us back. Oh no, not that. Uh, ignore that. Totally ignore that. <laughs> right, what do we need to make leather? Okay, we have to go find a cow. And it's night time. Do I not have any other bits of leather? Can you not smell um, zombie flesh? Although I don't even know if I have zombie flesh. Um, it'd be nice if you could compress saddles back into leather. Uh, that is that. No, I don't think I have any. I've got zombie fresh for flesh. Let's try smelting that anyway. Yeah, I don't think I have any more leather. So we're going to have to go and find a cow. Alright. Are you going to smelt up? No, you're not. Do I need a normal thing? Furnace. Probably not, you know. If it was going to, it would have shown up. Can I compress a saddle? No. Alright, let's go and sleep because there's no need to go and get go and get killed unnecessarily just over a piece of leather and then let's go look for a cow 
Alright, um, let me think. There are cows in this direction. Oh, hello, Zomble. I see you. Thank you. Uh, any cows on the mini map? I see sheep in this direction, and there could be a cow out there. So let's go and have a look. All right, mini map. Where are we? I see sheep. There might not be cows. It might just be brown buildings. Oh, yes, we have the um. This thing. Our Spider-Man hook. Um, out here? Maybe. No, I think the brown things on the mini-map are... Um, I think they're brown buildings. So what I'm going to have to do then is leave you guys while I look for while I go and look for cows so I'm not seeing any spawning although I uh, yeah I've been over here but I haven't seen any and the thing is when I don't want a cow it will turn up I did make a minecart and go through the tunnels, but that is it's kind of boring. Okay, because that's how I found the um, the meteor. All right, I oh is I thought that was a nether portal over there for a second, but I think it's the corner of that building. Right, I will leave you guys. I'm going to go look for a cow, and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I found a piece of leather. What do we need to make the leather strap? We need a steel plate. We can do that. Steel, that's you up here, right? Alright, so we have a conductive iron jetpack. And we've made a jetpack. Tier 1 must be worn as a must be worn as a chest plate but how do you charge it? Do simply jetpacks have a charger? Um, they've got armour plating oh I wonder if they're because isn't there a end IO charger? Um, well, wire charger, and that's a decoration block. Simple inventory charger. Conductive iron, dark steel nugget, and basic RF capacitor. Empowered. Alright, so when you say hold down shift. Um, okay. But you need an energy crystal. What other charges do they have? Because there's a... We've got battery chargers. Ultra low voltage battery chargers. Uh, lead. Uh... Nope. We don't have access to that. Insane battery charger. Wireless charger. No, we can't do that. Ender resonator, slice and spice, nope. Wired charger. Ah, okay. Industrial machine chassis. Grains of Infinity and Simple Machine sash sh sh Chassis. Okay, we can make that. Not now, because it is the end of the episode. But, 
we can get a charger we can get it done and we have a way we have access to power so yeah is that part of the quest soon ish uh where was this yes because the next thing is grains of infinity and the basic capacitor bank power buffer block of redstone yep we can do this so next week it's all about ender io we can definitely do this and then somehow we will i will have to work out how to get into ae um ae2 because i don't know how that how that's gonna work but um so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching Bye bye